Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, I, a fool, believed that for a brief moment I could enjoy a video game with simple game design and a beautiful art style. But I am an idiot for believing anything on this planet could be simple. Video games with cute art styles have come for me like a Nigerian prince with a list of emails. And now I will subject you to them because if I have to deal with this shit then so do you. So let's look at video games that look cute but are secretly evil. Lonely Mountains Downhill uses a simple polygonal art style with beautiful shadow casting and popping color. The game looks like the name sounds, a simple and relaxing trek downwards through the woods, but its tough as nails gameplay is aided by a constantly disappointed leaderboard which is always telling you that you could do better. Does that sound like anybody you know? And as you try, you crash and crash and crash breaking all manner of bones and controllers in your effort to shave one second off of your overall time. The effort put into each section is never worth the stress, but don't tell me that I spent an hour perfecting this turn to save 0.3 seconds. The odd angle of the camera and unforgiving terrain make this game a hellscape to perfect, but at least it's a cute hellscape. While Lonely Mountain's downhill is hard because of the pressure the player puts on themselves, Into the Gungeon is hard. It's just really hard. As the screen is overwhelmed with a barrage of bullets flying in a confusing spread of patterns, you are tasked with dodging them while also firing back at your multitude of opponents. Not to mention you have a meager health bar and once you die, it's right back to square one. I have never even made it past the third freaking boss, but I keep playing because the game has a shotgun shell holding a shotgun and it's just so cute. How a game about guns manages to be cute is a marvel to me, but there's a snake called the Amoconda, and that's not even one of the good ones. The alliterations and jokes strewn throughout the game make it a must play, even if you hate the combat and difficulty. This game is just so packed with cute and funny moments and names that I can't help but keep putting myself through agonizing pain. When I first saw Hollow Knight, I thought, wow, a cute and easy Dark Souls game. And I'm good at Dark Souls games. So I was excited to beat it, no problem. But the problem was I didn't beat it because there was a problem. It is very hard. My death count in Hollow Knight far exceeds that of any other game and I am not entirely sure why. I have heard others say that it is lower on the difficulty scale but my complete inability to succeed even one bit would beg to differ. This game just kicks my freaking butt. And no matter how cute all of the little beetle folk are, I just can't get past any of these freaking bosses, and I also just can't jump across any of these freaking platforms. Hollow Knight's wide array of exciting and colorful bosses, enemies, and locations never feel unfair because of generous amounts of reprieve, but none of that matters if you're still stuck on the second boss like I am. Video games are hard, but sometimes they're easy. But these ones are very hard. It's in the title. Sometimes looks can be deceiving, and you don't ever actually inherit that money from the Nigerian prince. But regardless, once you've invested a little time and money, nothing can stop you from causing yourself more stress and pain. And isn't that what life's all about anyways? What the hell kind of point was that?